Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Taylor. I'm a lecturer in civil engineering, and today I'm going to give you a short online lecture on the Three Muir and Harlow dams and reservoirs that were designed and constructed by the great Scottish civil engineer James Jordan, Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. You can see the location of the reservoirs just southwest of Edinburgh city centre, in the foot of the Pentland Hills, just near the town of Balerno. Here you can see the latitude and longitude of the location, also with an aerial photograph of the Three Muir Dam. This is an aerial photograph of the site, showing the Harlow Dam and the Three Muir Dam. And I'm going to walk you around both structures, but I'm going to start up at the Three Muir Dam first. So this is at the rear of the dam, where the spillway from the Threepmuir Reservoir spills into the Harlow Reservoir. This structure and infrastructure was designed by the great Scottish civil engineer James Jordan, who was born in 1776 and died in 1858. He lived at number 18 Queen Street and is now buried in Warriston Cemetery. An accomplished civil engineer, mathematician and also geologist, and he was the first person to determine mean sea level. In 1796 to 1808, he lectured mathematics at the University of Edinburgh, and he was then elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh in 1812. A famous project in 1813 was to drain the Nor Loch, which became Princess Street Gardens that we know of today. In 1819, he was appointed as the first engineer for the newly formed Edinburgh Water Company. In 1823, he supervised the construction of the 13.7 kilometre pipeline from Crawley Springs, which was the first reliable water supply in the city of Edinburgh. He was then involved in the design and the construction of both the Threepmuir and the Harlow dams and reservoirs. So here I stand at the base on the dry side of the Threepmuir embankment dam. And if I walk up the side here, the embankment dam is 400 metres in length, 9.5 metres high, and extends to a reservoir area of 94.8 hectares. The maximum water depth, depth is 5.2 metres, and the reservoir has a capacity of 2,359 million litres. Here you can see the draw-off tower, and you can see the riprap that protects the dam from the waves. So now I've walked back down to Harlow Reservoir. Again, an earth embankment dam and here you can see the wave energy dissipation structure in the spillway. Here's the pedestrian footbridge and at the other side the drive through stroke walkway that allows vehicular access across the spillway. Now you'll notice from the sign that this structure is not owned by Scottish Water, it's owned by Edinburgh City Council. That's because it's not actually used to impound the reservoir for drinking water. It's used as a flood prevention scheme now to protect the water of Leith. Here you can see the original spillway, a lot of the original stone still in place, 147 years on. And towards this gate here, there's quite a steep drop as the spillway then discharges into the water of Leith. As I turn around here, you'll see a small culvert with a bar screen, the pedestrian walkway, across the spillway. So let's take a walk down along the spillway. Now today this channel is dry because the water level in the reservoir is so low that there doesn't have to be any overflow discharge in the spillway. And the purpose of a spillway is to stop the water spilling over the dam in an uncontrolled fashion that would eventually wash the soil and the structure of the embankment dam away. The small structure, as I explained earlier, at the front here, this arrow, is to dissipate the energy of the waves to stop damage to the spillway structure. And here we can see the stones used to protect the dam from the waves. The Harlow Hydroelectric Limited Company have a small hydroelectric power scheme that's constructed at the base of the dam. And as I walk along the top of the dam, here you can see the spillway and the draw-off tower. Sorry, here you can see the draw-off tower, 
where the water is drawn underneath the dam. And eventually, if you look down the other side of the dam, we'll see two small structures. The first one is just a, a, an old chamber from the original construction, but further down you'll see a smaller building with a maroon pipe. That contains a Francis turbine and the hydroelectric power generation equipment for the Hilo Hardro Hydro Company. And I've given you the website there and you can have a look at that and see more details. So I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of the reservoir and if you get a chance, get up and have a look for yourself.